Hi, this is Jim at Morse Sewing Machines, and today we're going to show you our new Morse product that's going to be available online. Now, this is a Morse flatbed sewing machine here, so you've got a nice big table surface here. Um, the body itself is still made out of Alexan plastic they make out of the football helmets, but the main thing on this machine here, all the drive components underneath, cameraman, take a look at this all metal drive components all other brands of machines you see that are all plastic this is all metal drive we're going here so what's nice about this machine here you can do light and heavy duty material now notice i keep the tension set right around three there this machine here you can just straight stitch just like that zigzag very nice and smooth running you can go fast you can go slow. You want to do zigzag, put it on zigzag, no problem there. So this is a very fast, smooth running sewing machine. You got nice side cutters here, so you can cut on the side here like that. You also have a double lift, so you can lift it up, Mr. Cameraman, see if we can get my we get my finger under there. I'm not going to sew my finger. Oh, I sewed my finger. Okay. Um, you get a close to a half an inch lift here, so you get a nice high lift there. If you want to do some leather products, Here's about an uh, eighth of an inch of leather product here. We're going to put the leather under here. Always put the needle into the fabric there. And presto, we're sewing leather here with no problems here. So what's nice is you pull this out just like this here. You cut the threads right here on the side there. Now we're going to do some jeans. Yeah, in most machines, you're lucky to do two layers here. So let's count this. We got one, two, three, four, five. Six, eh, what the heck? Let's let's make it let's make it seven here. Nah, heck with seven. Let's fold this one over here and let's do eight layers of denim here. So not we got eight layers of denim here. We're gonna put a challenge. I haven't done eight layers of denim, so this will be my first uh, time I did eight layers. But for the commercial, we're gonna do it. Start the needle into the fabric. I only got a size 14 needle in the machine. So here we are. About 10 layers a denim, no problem. So this machine here is a leather buster all the way around. You got good, cameraman, take a look at that. Got good top stitch here, and we got good bottom stitch here. So this this here, 10 layers of denim. So that's a rough thing to do. Um, other nice thing about this machine here, now everybody down here, cameraman, show the, the bottoms of denim here, like the humps of denim. Most machines have a hard time going over here. But since this machine here is more of like a leather buster here, this machine here, you can go up and over the, the denim. No problem there. There we go. So you can go up and over these layers there with no problem. Great machine. So you can do heavy duty and light duty. Now, if you notice, I have not left the tension on three. It's been automatically calibrated to all the different thicknesses of material. Now, here's what everybody talks about all the time. All I ever hear is about, how can it do on Sunbrella? Sunbrella. Okay, here it is. This is Sunbrella right here. Black Sunbrella. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five layers of Sunbrella. Okay, let's see what it's going to do here. Whoa, five layers of Sunbrella. So in no problem. So heck with five layers. We're going to do more. Let's just double it. Okay, so we got five layers here. We just counted out. So let's do more on top of it. So we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I got twelve layers of Sunbrella here. That's unheard of. Okay, put the needle in. Step on the pedal here. Okay, we can hear it. Whoa, it is going through twelve layers of Sunbrella. Naturally, you are not going to be sewing on 12 layers of Sunbrella. You're going to sew two or three layers of Sunbrella, or four or five, six max. You're not going to be doing 12. Uh, this machine just did 12, so we're lucky there. This is a powerful machine. Now, let's take a look at the stitching. We've got great top stitch, great bottom stitch, so perfect Sunbrella machine. And this machine does not have a walking foot. You don't need a walking foot. We did 12 layers of Sunbrella, no problem. Still, I haven't changed this tension once. This tension has been on three the whole time. So we know we did Sunbrella. Hey, want to do aluminum? Let's, let's do some aluminum here. This is how heavy duty this machine is. So we're going to put the needle into the fabric here. Okay, we are sewing aluminum now. I don't think you'd want to sew, sew aluminum, but we are sewing aluminum, so that's no problem there. So I did heavy duty, light duty, 
you name it material there. This is this sewing machine sews all types of fabric here. So now we're back. We've just got some light fabric under there. We can sew along with the light fabric. You want to do zigzag here. You can turn this top stitch. You can do zigzag. Also, the machine has built-in buttonhole maker. It does all your different stretch stitches inside the machine. Uh, great machine for sewing heavy duty. Now, let's do something that most people don't do with sewing, any, sewing machines anymore. We're going to do a patch and stitch. This is a wide patch and stitch. So we put it onto the widest zigzag. What we do is we bring the stitch length down. So we're just going to have it just going through just enough where we're going to get a tight, tight stitch there. Going to do it just where it does, where it feeds just by itself, just a little bit there. There we go. Great patch and stitch. Most sewing machines, you try to do this, the machine will jam up on you automatically. And you're going to be amazed when you see this stitch here. Cameraman, take a look at that. That's what they call a smooth patch and stitch or a satin stitch. So this machine here does it all. Um, another nice thing about this machine here is if you ever get something that you're sewing and let's say you need to get into certain angles and stuff, well, this machine here, release the tension, release the knob up here. So now you've got a machine here that you can be sewing straight like that. And watch me go sideways. Whoa, how many machines go sideways? I just did a square. So if you want to go sideways, forwards, and right now I'm controlling the machine here. So if you ever get into a point where you want to be the boss, you release the tension of the machine here. So right now I'm in control of what the machine does. The machine will go sideways and so on. If you really wanted to get technical and you want to do some fancy embroidery there, yes, you can do some fancy embroidery there. So what we can do is right now we got a stitch here. I think I'm a lousy embroiderer, but some of these ladies out there, you can get some really fancy embroidery done here. So I'm just kind of messing around for fun. But yeah, I kind of did a J there. So you can do freehand motion embroidery just by releasing the, releasing the top of this stitch here. Most of the time you keep this down. If you're doing some embroidery or you want to control the stitch in, then you release this. But I still never change the tension on this machine. So this machine here will sew heavy duty, light duty with no problem. I'm going to put it back on straight stitch. We're going to finish it off on a straight stitch there. So it's going straight stitch, reverse. Hey, we're done. This is the best machine for the money.